So, here we are at Brands Hatch Indy for the first at Downforce Radio game night. So, see on pole position there is Cheese. Second place is Zach Skulls. Third was Spanners Ready. Fourth, Ryan King. Fifth, myself. And sixth on the grid was Jake Sanson. Let's see how this race went. So, the cars on the grid now. It's a great start by everyone. No one really seemed to bog down at all. Although... Zach tried to go round the outside of Cheese in the first corner, but further back, I was having my own little problem as I managed to hood way too much into that one. Drifted round Paddock Hill, lost out there to Ryan King, although Ryan King has spanners ready. Ryan King all over the grass there. She wasn't going to break in time, I didn't think he would. He went very wide, but also spanners ready. Very wide in that Honda Civic, which allowed me the chance to go round his outside as we came down towards Graham Hill. Very close racing between my spouse, myself and spanners ready. Puts me up a little bit wide, Ryan King. Then takes 4th place back, dropping me back into 5th place. My lap would get a little bit worse so I run out of road, which is never a good thing to happen in a racing car. Run out of road, luckily didn't hit anything, managed to find the track again. But I was last, and even behind Jake Sanson. At the end of the first lap, the exact skulls had already gone past Cheese. Cheese was 2nd, 3rd place was Spanners Ready. 4th, Ryan King, 5th, Jake Sanson and myself in 6th. This is a 5 lap race, so a very, very short sprint. A little bit of a lock up there going into Pilot Kill Ben, but there was a car off on the left hand side that was Spanners Ready, and also Ryan King had a bit of a moment which put Jake Sanson up into third place. Ryan King fourth, myself fifth, and Spanners Ready down to sixth. But Ryan King is still in a generous mood, going very wide, and due as I had the exit and took that place off him. So fourth place for myself, me and Jake Sanson, Team Speedworks third and fourth. Ryan King fifth in his Mercedes, and Spanners Ready was sixth in the Honda Civic so coming towards the end of lap 2 now Jake Sanson just ahead of me there in the other Tom Ingram Speedworks car new concept this one was the Downforce Radio Game Night I think it, I think they're classing it as a success so it'll be happening every Wednesday I believe different platform of games but enough about that let's get back on to this race coverage as you can see there that is Cheese on the left hand side off the track is B Bay Motors BMW Jake Sansing is down the inside. I can't quite manage to get past him though. On the exit of Jewels, I'll try. But to no avail. Cheese takes third place. Cheese is also another racer. He races in the Catrums for BRSCC. Great battle going on for second. Jake Sanson, Cheese and myself. Ranking not too far behind as well. Jake is very wide. A bit of grass there from Cheese. Takes two wheels on the grass, but it makes him go a little bit wide. And stake down the inside. That's another open invitation take their place back so two laps to go it's looking pretty interesting here a good battle for second between myself Sanson and Cheese Pallet kill Ben though I take a bit too much here this inside curb and settles the car Cheese gets a better line there goes down the inside in a moment that quite a few downforce radio listeners will probably enjoy as we see Jake Sanson show what a plum sack he can be on a racing car, here we go, goes a bit wide on the grass, they completely, here we go, takes out the tyre barriers, this isn't Mario Kart Jake, and Ryan King does well to avoid it, but down into Graham Hill, contact between myself and Cheese, and that's a bucking Bronco ride you don't want to be on, somehow managed to keep part of the car, but Jake Sanson has come straight back past, with a lap and a half to go, the fight is still well and truly on for second place, although Jake Sanson realises he can't break on the grass, loses the position again, Fantastic battle, Ryan King and Spanners really see that in the background, but Zach Skulls that was way in front wondering where is everybody else. The rest of them are having a massive battle. Cheese second, Jake Sanson goes to make a move down the inside. But forget you've got to be clear of a car if we come back, and that was the result. A little tap on the rear from myself, definitely unintentional. So, so Jake Sanson loses out some places there to Ryan King and Spanners ready. And speaking of Mr. Sanson, look at the mess he's made there, going down towards Graham Hill. Cheese hits a couple of tyres on the way down. But Zach Skulls, by this point, is in a different area code. He's just completely pulled away from everybody else. He took victory in second place. As we see here, it's going to be Cheese in the BMW. I took third place in the Speedworks Avensis. Fourth was Ryan King in his Mercedes. Fifth was Spanners Ready. And in 6th place, after promising such a good result, was Jake Sanson, the tyre barrier wrecker.